Well, once my uh, two teenage boys grew up and become, became uh, grown men, um, my job as a parent um, seemed to lessen. And so uh, I've always wanted to stay engaged in the whole teaching process. And so going back to school was kind of a logical next step for me. Uh, the music business was shifting. Uh, there wasn't as much uh, work in the recording uh, sessions and I didn't really want to tour extensively anymore. So uh, I was already offered a position to teach at uh, two colleges in Los Angeles. And so being in, an, in that environment really encouraged me to want to, you know, strengthen my, my knowledge of what I was doing. Well, <clears throat> when, when you're touring with uh, musicians that are more experienced than you, they have a certain level of expectation. And so you don't make a lot of mistakes. <laughs> you really come to the table prepared. Uh, and, and the same thing in school. I think the, a lot of my professors uh, didn't know that I was a professional musician, but they just knew that they had certain standards. And so whether I was Alfonso Johnson or Clark Smith, you know, who was a 23 year old, it didn't matter. They, they wanted certain things accomplished. So, um, but I think the big difference with playing, uh, performing live with uh, musicians like Joe Zawinu or Wayne Shorter, they not only had high expectations, but they would take those expectations even higher. So you never had time to like really be settled in achieving. You were always achieving on different levels. And, and not just uh, playing music, learning how to listen to music was as important as the notes you played. You know. When you're on the road, you're dealing with uh, no safety net, basically. You're on the high wire, there's no net underneath. So um, you, you travel along that path without knowing what's gonna happen. And hopefully your experience as a musician will guide you to the right choices. I would probably want to see um, how their reaction is on a personable level uh, before we play music together. I would want to see um, if we have things in common, you know, uh, what, what their politics are, um, just what their belief system is, things, things that are important to me. And uh, that would probably determine what the next step would evolution would be as far as playing music together.